Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this weekend. And Ukrainian forces continue to take more territory as Russia loses ground. Good evening and thank you for watching News 8 Now this weekend. I'm Emily Haugen. We're starting in Ukraine tonight. Russia's President Vladimir Putin has tightened security at the only bridge that links the annexed Crimean Peninsula with Russia following an explosion that damaged the span that Moscow uses to transport weapons for its war in Ukraine. Ukrainian officials had repeatedly threatened to strike the bridge, but nobody immediately claimed responsibility for the attack, which killed three people. Michael George has the latest from New York. Massive flames and black smoke rose from the Kerch Bridge to Crimea Saturday. Part of the parallel road beneath it collapsed into the sea. Russia's state media said a bomb exploded just after 6 a.m., setting fire to several railway oil tankers. The bridge is not only a symbol of Russia's claim on Crimea, which it annexed from Ukraine in 2014, it's also a key supply route for Russian military forces. Russian President Vladimir Putin personally drove a truck across the 12-mile span when it officially opened in 2018. The explosion, perhaps not coincidentally, comes a day after Putin's 70th birthday. In a video address, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky indirectly acknowledged the attack, saying it was a mostly sunny day, but unfortunately it was cloudy in Crimea. The blast comes as Ukrainian forces continue to retake more territory. With Russia losing ground, President Biden expressed concern about the threat of a Russian nuclear attack. At a fundraiser Thursday night, the president said, we have not faced the prospect of Armageddon since Kennedy and the Cuban Missile Crisis. I think that it's dangerous even to speak about it. In an interview with the BBC, Zelensky agreed with President Biden. I agree it is an Armageddon. It is the risk for the whole planet. He says the Kremlin is laying the groundwork to prepare the Russian public for the potential use of nuclear weapons. Michael George, CBS News, New York. And one military analyst called the bridge explosion a punch in the face for Putin on his 70th birthday. Twenty in Sparta, uh, thirty-one was the temperature in Viroqua, twenty-nine basketball, thirty in Prairie to Sheen, thirty-two to Cora. 32 Winona. Uh, in some places had temperatures, uh, like I said, very close to the upper teens. Look at Sparta. Your morning low was 20 degrees. Outside right now, hey, we're seeing temperatures all over the place. 30s from Sparta to Viroqua to, uh, well, Viroqua's at 45. Basketball's at 39. Decor's at 38. Lacrosse, we're sitting at 51. 50 in Winona, 49 in Eau Claire. And we are substantially warmer as compared to this time yesterday. Matter of fact, 13 degrees warmer in Decor, 12 degrees warmer in Eau Claire, 13 degrees warmer in Winona, 11 degrees warmer in La Crosse. So let's help you plan your Sunday. We'll see abundant sunshine. We'll see temperatures in the upper 30s, low 40s by the 8 o'clock hour. By the 2 o'clock hour, we go back into the 60s. We'll stay in the low to mid 60s by the 5 o'clock hour. Then a little bit of cloud cover by 8 p.m. But look at that temperature of 53 degrees. Now, Emily, coming up in the first alert forecast, we're going to talk about the return of the 70s. But it's a one day only special because we're going to drop those temperatures yet again. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. All right. Whoops. All right. Yeah, thanks, Eric. You bet. It was a great day to get active this morning. Athletes showed up bright and early at the Onalaska Fire Department for the 11th annual Firehouse 5K. That run walk event was put on by Onalaska Firefighters Association and the Children's Miracle Network. Organizers say they hope this event helps to promote health and wellness in the community. By people coming out and doing stuff like this, you know, it can kind of create something that they enjoy to get outside and run or walk and create a habit of wellness. This event also has another benefit. It's a fundraiser for the Children's Miracle Network. The organizations have partnered for this event for the past 11 years. The event also led into an open house for families to check out all the Onalaska Fire Department has to offer. And there's a new business in Onalaska, Maury's, which used to be in La Crosse, opened its stores at a new location on Theater Road. The spot offers more space and more cars. There are plenty of car dealership options in Onalaska, but General Manager Ryan Risty says that's a bonus for customers and sellers too. 
lot of them have come through the dealership and given us uh, uh, some nice gifts and welcomed us to the neighborhood. And it's, you know, we all rise each other up with, uh, with the location. Anyone in the community who checked out the new space got a nice bonus. Maury's offered food trucks, a polka band, and a raffle. And taking a walk through the past, walkers got a chance to walk through Woodlawn Cemetery and learn about different people from Winona's history. Community actors helped immerse people in the fun as they shared their stories with walkers. This year's Voices from the Past event was 1950s themed. Organizers say it's a true journey through history. To learn about your specific community, that's usually not taught very much in school. And there's so many stories out here. The more you work on it, the more you learn just how many stories there are about Winona. This is our 23rd year of doing it, and we have barely repeated anything. We Moore hopes the walk gives people a chance to reminisce and reflect on Winona's colorful history. Today's walk already wrapped up this afternoon, but you could catch the cemetery walk again tomorrow at Woodlawn Cemetery. Those self-guided tours run between noon and 5. And plenty of seasonal fun was had over in on Alaska with the second annual pumpkin and a pint. For just $10, families got a pumpkin to paint, a pint of beer or root beer, and a chance to have a great time. This morning, people of all ages got to paint their pumpkins and listen to tunes. On Alaska Art Keepers director Joyce Dively says art plays a special role in communities. If you ever read anything about art in communities, it really can make a difference where people take ownership in, in their community because it's a beautiful art community. Artists of all ages created their own special projects, but the event was even bigger than that. As a fundraiser for Onalaska Art Keepers, all the money raised is going to all kinds of upcoming art projects in Onalaska. Coming up on News 8 Now this weekend, celebrating Apple Fest, but it's not the one you think. We'll take you to a northern Wisconsin festival that holds a special meaning for its community. That's up later, but first, a walk for a cause. Lacrosse advocates took a stroll through Meyer Park to celebrate and recognize community members with Down syndrome. That's up next. Stay with us. We're paying more for food, gas, and rent. But Tony Evers wants to take even more of our money. He tried to raise the gas tax by 20% and double the tax on our heating bills. Evers wanted to use our tax dollars to pay people who refuse to work. And he wanted to give taxpayer-funded benefits to those who entered our country illegally. Evers even opposed drug testing for those getting welfare. We just can't afford four more years of Tony Evers. Lane's Farm and Fleet's big snacking and candy event is going on now. It's time to stock up and save on a massive selection of craveable chocolates, savory trail mixes, classic candies, and gummy go-tos, all on sale. Like one-pound bags of Blaine's Gummy Bears, two for just four bucks. Two-pound bags of Farm and Fleet Trail Mix, two for 12 bucks. And enjoy fresh air indoors with these best air furnace filters, just $19.99. Plus, this weekend only, don't miss free in-store samples of our sweet, salty, snackable selection. Meet Brad Path. He never had a job outside of politics. Seriously, he hung around long enough to climb that political ladder. He'll never fix Washington. He won't even try. Me, I spent 26 years fighting for our country. I served as a Navy SEAL, and I know how to get things done. I'm Derek Van Orden, and I approve this message. Let's try something different. Let's change the people we're sending to DC. Thank you for watching News 8 Now, our community, your station. Neck pain is a common issue that affects most adults. It can make a lot of common everyday tasks difficult, like driving a car or working on the computer. Dr. Naveed Karizi, a Mayo Clinic Health System neurosurgeon, says pain could come from muscle strain or structural changes to the cervical vertebrae or discs. Through rest, stretching, and massages, those can help, but surgery is another option if pain persists. When I see someone with back pain, I want to see where they stand on that spectrum. How long the pain has been going on? Is it shooting down their arms? And what other treatments have they had? Have he says a cervical disc replacement surgery, which was recently FDA approved, allows for a nearly full range of motion. It can help maintain motion and flexibility in your neck while also putting less stress on the rest of your backbones. Kesri encourages talking to your doctor to figure out the best option for you. And a great time for a great cause. The Down Syndrome Awareness Walk was held this morning in Myrick Park. Participants of all ages got the chance to walk together and try plenty of fun activities, including a red carpet showcase. It was the 20th anniversary this year and participate. <laughs> 
gosh, sorry, participation has only grown over time. Volunteer Morgan Brzezank says having this visibility matters. Our loved ones with Down syndrome play such an important part of our community um, and so getting um, just advocacy and awareness out um, allows our, our members to feel more loved in the community, in their schools and in that after school life. Over 150 people took part this year and all that fun raised funds for the local Down Syndrome Association of Wisconsin. They passed their fundraising goal of $20,000 this morning. Coming up on News 8 Now this weekend, fall colors. We're starting to see those reds, oranges, and yellows pop up in our trees, but up further, it's even brighter. We'll take you where people are headed for their fall getaways up next. And in the world of weather, hey, it was a chilly start to your Saturday with highs in the 20s and 30s. We're talking about a warm-up, and I'll give you a little bit of a sneak peek. We're talking about a one-day wonder of highs in the 70s. Details on the other side of the break. Stay with us. I'm a veteran. I know what it looks like to love your country, and this isn't it. Derek Van Orden was on the Capitol grounds on January 6th. He broke past the police barricades and was part of a riot that injured over 100 cops. And some of them ended up dying. Now he wants us to believe he's a patriot? Mr. Van Orden, patriots defend their country. They don't try to burn it down. I'm Brad Path, and I approve this message. Whether you're an established business owner or just getting started, we can offer multiple services to help manage your financial goals. I'm Patrick Kranz, owner of Peak Contracting and Excavating. Been a customer of Union State Bank for a little over a year now. I chose to work with Chad at Union State Bank because of our great friendship and their professionalism in the Black River Falls area. My overall experience with Union State Bank has been phenomenal, and I would highly recommend them to anybody looking for a financial institution to work with. Union State Bank, where customers and community come first. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. January 6th, Derek Van Orden and an angry mob march on the Capitol. The Capitol, that's where we're headed to right now. Breakthrough police barricades. Derek Van Orden, he and a bunch of his frogman buddies are on the wall. And break the law. Since January 6th, Derek Van Orden has lied about where he was. And deleted an online post to hide what he did. Liar, lawbreaker. Don't vote for Derek Van Orden. Center Forward Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. You protected our rights, preserved our freedom. You may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. There's no other place where my story is possible. My mom was a teacher. My dad worked third shift. It was our ticket to the middle class. That's the promise of America I'll fight to protect. While others send our jobs overseas, I'll bring manufacturing back, invest in our own workers, and stock our shelves with American products. And with a middle class tax cut, you'll be able to keep more of what you earn. I know the promise of America, and no one will fight harder to protect it. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. The Ford Store inaugural Fall Home Show is underway. A $250 discount coupon is yours just for stopping by to see all the new displays and updates we have made. We'd love to meet you. Thank you for watching News 8 Now, our community, your station. If you've been thinking about heading up north this season, so are plenty of other Midwesterners. Take a look at the fall colors up north. It's no secret, the North Shore has some of the best fall experiences for travelers. We love the colors up here. We love this time of year. Autumn is a big portion of the tourist season for the North Shore. It brings in thousands of visitors, like the Veen family, checking out the fall foliage at places like Tedaguch State Park. Come up every year, we like the area, and so um, just far enough away from the cities to get away and see some colors, and of course, the beautiful Lake Superior. The Veen family, who came from the Twin Cities, say it's all about seeing the beauty the state offers. Here we want our kids to see um, just tranquility and peace and the wonder of Minnesota. Scenic trails and parks aren't the only places attracting people. Betty's Pie in Two Harbors is just one of the many restaurants staying busy. Uh, it's been really crazy. A lot more people than, than we expected at this time of year. Even with the cold temperatures, a lot of people are still out coming up the shore. 
checking out the leaves. General manager Tim Anderson says they are thankful for this final rush before the snow season starts. Well, it's kind of a push right before winter because in the winter we close Monday through Thursday, so we're only open on the weekends. Enjoying the fall colors and seasonal foods for as long as they stick around. In Two Harbors, Car Cop, Northern News Now. If you're trying to pick the best time to head up north and across the river for some fall colors, the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources can help you. Just search Minnesota DNR Fall Color Finder. So I think one of my favorite parts of fall is the colorful trees. So I'm excited for colors to peak down here at La Crosse. Eric Dean has your forecast. So Eric, are we going to get good weather so we can see those fall colors soon? Yeah. Actually, we will. We'll see temperatures in the 60s and 70s. So if you want to take a nice little stroll this week, uh, definitely a not a bad week to do so, especially as we go into the first part of the week. As for today, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the hot or the morning lows. This is what it was when you woke up this morning. 23 in Black River Falls, 20 in Sparta, 33 in La Crosse, 32 Winona, 30 in Eau Claire. Uh, Viroqua made it to 31, 30 in Prairie du Chien. Decorah made it to 32 degrees. Numbers for today, there you go. 62 is our high after a morning start of 33. 66 and 45 is where we should be for this time of year. We have clear skies outside. We're at 51 degrees. Humidity is sitting at 48% with winds out of the south at 8 miles per hour. So when you wake up in the morning, temperatures in the 30s and 40s will greet you. Much warmer tomorrow morning as compared to this morning. 32 in Sparta, 32 Black River Falls, 40 La Crosse, 39 Decorah, 38 in Prairie du Chien, 39 over towards Winona. So we'll see that cloud cover for the most part it's out of here as we go into your overnight hours. We'll start your Sunday off with abundant sunshine. The clouds will start to pick up as we go to the afternoon and early evening hours by the five o'clock hour. There you go. Clear skies will be the rule and that trend is going to continue across uh, basically parts of the area as we go into your evening and overnight hours. Maybe some high thin wispy clouds across the western part of the Cooley region. But Monday we start the day off with abundant sunshine. Monday is not bad at all. Highs tomorrow, there you go. Back into the 60s, some places upper 60s. Uh, 65 Rochester, 65 Red Wing, uh, 69 Austin, 70 Mason City, 64 Minneapolis, 61 Eau Claire, and then 63 from Black River Falls to Sparta to La Crosse down towards Viroqua. So here's the radar scan. We have a clean sweep across the area. High pressure is large and in charge. We're on the back end of it, which is going to allow that wind to shift out of the south for tomorrow, which will allow those temperatures to go back into the 60s for tomorrow going into Monday. And then by Tuesday, we'll see a, maybe a rain chance in the evening hours, but still temperatures in the 70s nonetheless. So the details of the first alert forecast for tonight, partly cloudy skies, a nice light wind out of the southwest at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's your timeline for your Sunday. We start the day off with temperatures right around 43 degrees uh, by the 8 o'clock hour, 50s by the 10 o'clock hour, then upper 50s, low 60s by noon, making for a beautiful Sunday. Across the board, 62 for the uh, 2 o'clock hour. Abundant sunshine with temperatures staying in the 60s until we get to about the 7 o'clock time frame. We go to about 56 and then 53 by the 8 o'clock hour. Now, the next 8 days, there's that 66 for Monday. Monday right there, let's call that the pick of the short term. Look at that. Abundant sunshine, temperatures in the 60s. By Tuesday, we go to 72 degrees. We have that late day scattered shower and thunderstorm. Wind cancel your outdoor plans in the morning and afternoon hours. Then that front pushes its way through for Wednesday. We go to 66. And then look at this for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We go back into the 50s. Matter of fact, Emily, next Sunday right now, I'm forecasting a high of 45 degrees on the high end. So we have, like I said, the one day special of Tuesday where we have that high of 72. And after that, it's downhill again from there. I was going to say seeing that 72 is kind of a jump scare, but I think the 45 might be worse. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, okay, bundle up people. Yes. <laughs> Coming up after the break, the UWL Eagles look to bounce back after last week's loss, and it's a new era for Wisconsin football. Kate is in next with the highlights of Jim Leonhardt's first game as head coach. Thank you for watching News 8 Lacrosse. Here are tonight's winning Powerball numbers. News 8 Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Whether you need routine care or treatment for a complex condition, Mayo Clinic Health System has convenient and safe options for the care you and your family need. Did you know Tim Michaels wants to criminalize abortion, even for pregnant rape victims? But are you going to support exceptions for rape or incest? Uh, that's correct. 
Is that the kind of divisive radical you want as your governor? A new day has dawned on the all-new Maury's, Audi, and Volkswagen of La Crosse. Feel the luxury of Maury's Audi as soon as you enter the new state-of-the-art Audi dealership. Audi technology and style incorporated into Maury's La Crosse Audi sales and service. Maury's Volkswagen La Crosse features an upbeat, high-tech atmosphere. Having service done, enjoy our relaxing lounge as you wait. Come experience excellence at the new and improved Volkswagen of La Crosse. New building, new location, same friendly staff. Maury's Audi and Volkswagen of La Crosse. Ron Johnson and China. Here's how it works. While in the Senate, Johnson made $57 million from a family business whose growth was directly linked to China. He invested in Chinese factories, and Johnson's family business got $50 million in loans from the Bank of China. Johnson pushed for shipping American jobs overseas while he got rich. Ron Johnson's out for himself, not us. SP is responsible for the content of this ad. Football, hunting, or holiday season, moving, remodeling, whatever the reason, it's time to shop at Black River Furniture Outlet for sofas, recliners, sectionals, and lift chairs. Great deals on dining room and bed sets, coffee table sets and entertainment centers, accessorize your home with the area's largest selection of rugs, or lay back and try out a mattress and adjustable bed. Take home or deliver today. Family and veteran owned, Black River Furniture Outlet, Black River Falls. Tim Michael's company has been sued numerous times for sexual assault and harassment. Women said they were groped and pressured to have sex with their bosses. Those who spoke out were fired. Is that the kind of divisive radical you want as governor? News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Here's News 8 Now's Kate Overton. All right, here we are, the start of a new era for Wisconsin football. Jim Leonard coming in as the interim head coach with a lot of season left, and there are still a lot of wins on the table, including their game today against Northwestern team that's lost four straight games. All right, jumping into the action at Ryan Field, we're going ahead to the second quarter. Graham Mertz rolling out and finds Shamir DK for the touchdown. Badgers go up 21-0, and then Braylon Allen in at QB, scrambling around avoiding the pressure, and then he's going to throw it to Shez Malusi, running back to running back connection. Does it get any more Wisconsin than that? In for the touchdown. All right, jumping ahead to the fourth quarter. Mertz finding DK again for his fourth touchdown of the day, going ahead 35-0, and then with time winding down, Mertz has Marcus Allen on the slant route and gets in for Mertz's fifth touchdown of the day. The offense looked good, the defense even better, and now the Jim Leonard era has officially started with a win. Yeah, I mean, that's the very first thing that I told them. So proud of what we handled this week, dealing with the emotions, being able to focus and, and get a win, right? It's all about one at a time. Just get one win at a time. I gain a lot of confidence from the people around me and just seeing the look in their eyes and the confidence they have in me and uh, just trying to feed back off of that and, and give it back to them. All right, it's a pretty cool moment to see the guys rally together there. Graham Mertz throwing for a career-high 299 yards and five touchdowns. Braylon Allen had 135 yards rushing, and Shamir DK 10 receptions, 185 yards, and three touchdowns. But it's just one game. Let's see if they can keep it rolling next week at Michigan State. All right, let's switch over to Division Three UWL up against UW Stout and Cade Garcia getting the scoring started here with a perfect sideline throw to Matthias enters and the Eagles strike first. Second quarter now, Garcia again to the end zone and oh my, what a pass, what a catch. That's a Max Stubendick with the touchdown and the Eagles go up 14-0. A few drives later, Kaiser Helterbrand now in at QB and he's going to run it and this guy is fast. He's going down the sideline, 69 yards all the way in. For the score, the PAT is good, and that makes it 21-7. Are UWL coming out of halftime with a 21-7 lead? Helterbrand in at QB again, and this is not a replay. Helterbrand does it again down the sideline. This time it's 74 yards and even breaking a tackle all the way in for the touchdown. And the Eagles bounce back after last week's heartbreak with the big 42-21 win over Stout. All right, a quick look at tomorrow's games. Of course, the Packers 
They're in London taking on the 3-1 Giants, but this is a game that the Packers are heavily favored. Rodgers is getting more and more comfortable with his guys, and Jair Alexander is officially back after missing the last two games. Now, a quick reminder that this game is at 8.30 in the morning, and it's only on the NFL Network. It's not on any of the local channels, so don't call the station in the morning wondering where it's at, because I know that's going to happen. All right, and after you watch the Packers in the morning, you can switch over to CBS to watch the Vikings host the Chicago Bears at noon. U.S. Bank Stadium will be rocking for the divisional matchup, and the Vikings are favored. But one thing to keep an eye on in this game is the Vikings' rush defense against the Bears' rush offense. The Bears run the ball a lot, and the Vikings struggle against the run. And I'll have the highlights from both of these games and post-game sound tomorrow after the games. And there were a bunch of really good playoff baseball games today, so I have to keep you updated. A pitcher's duel in Cleveland as the Guardians host the Rays ninth inning, and Clevenger gets a strikeout here to send the game into extras. No bonus runner in the playoffs, just classic playoff baseball. Runners on the corners, two outs, but Jose Ramirez with the range and the laser to first to save a run. Wow. To the 15th inning now. Oscar Gonzalez at the plate. Nobody on, but it doesn't matter. The 24-year-old with the walk-off home run in the 15th inning gives Cleveland the win, and they're advancing to the next round. What a game. That'll do it for sports. We'll be right back. Dear Exit Strategy, all your pieces are in place. Thanks for being there when I need you most. Always Toyota SUVs. Toyota, let's go places. I'm Sheriff Jim Johnson. I'm Sheriff Eric Severson. We've got the real story on Mandela Barnes. Barnes wants to defund our police, but he spent over 600 grand of your money on police protection for himself. Barnes wants to eliminate bail for violent felons, and his administration has already released over 800 criminals, including 44 child rapists. Take it from us. Mandela Barnes policies are a threat to your family. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Oh, great. My wireless bill just went up. Hmm. Should have gone with U.S. Cellular. They aren't raising prices on any of their plans. Seriously? Yeah, my price won't increase. Well, that is refreshing. I feel like everywhere you turn these days, prices are going up. Supply chain got us, too. Don't get me started on the overhead cost. At U.S. Cellular, every plan for everyone is price protected. You know, I respect a female entrepreneur. U.S. Cellular, where every plan is price protected. As law enforcement, we've seen a lot. Enough to know the attacks on Governor Evers are outright lies. The truth? The governor actually increased police and first responder funding. That's a fact. Even fact checkers said the attacks on Evers were false. And Evers is working to invest in school programs, mental health treatment, and job training in high crime areas. Those are the real facts. That's how a governor leads, and that's the truth. Governor Tony Evers, he's doing the right thing for Wisconsin. It's time for Jolivet Family Farms Fall Harvest. There's no substitute for homegrown freshness. Stop by today for some of Jolivet's homegrown squash, kraut cabbage, popcorn, and cranberries. Take a tractor or horse-drawn wagon ride to the Great Pumpkin Patch and pick your own pumpkin every weekend in October. Large selection of fall decorations, including corn shocks, gourds, specialty pumpkins, and straw bales. Take home some pumpkin cheesecake bars, cookies, pies, or bread from our homemade bakery. Buy fresh, buy local. Open daily year-round. Jolivet Family Farms, West Salem. Dear Exit Strategy, all your pieces are in place. Thanks for being there when I need you most. Always Toyota SUVs. Toyota, let's go places. familiar with La Crescent's Apple Fest, but one small community in northern Wisconsin is celebrating 60 years with its very own. Reporter Gwen Gorham shares what makes the Bayfield tradition so special. Well, if you're thinking of heading out to the Bayfield Apple Festival today, it might be the best day to beat the crowds. It's a festival sure to please any sweet tooth featuring an array of Apple products. Welcome to beautiful Bayfield, Wisconsin, where after a year off, Apple Fest is back. For 60 years, Apple Fest has been an annual tradition in Bayfield, a huge boost to local business. 
I think it benefits everybody, not just the orchards. You know, it, there's a lot more to it than that. Jim Hauser with Hauser's Superior View Farm says over the last six decades, his orchard has come to rely on the annual boost that comes from Applefest. It's the economic impact of that extra month of business that we get to, we get to have because of Applefest. But beyond the countless tourists and the economic impact, Hauser says Applefest has come to mean a lot more to those who live in the city year round. It's kind of a homecoming for us, so it's, it's always a fun time of year because you see people you haven't seen in a year. Some people live farther away and they come up here just for Applefest to, to help us or to enjoy it either way. Down the hill from Hauser's Orchard, those in town feel the same. Can you just kind of talk to me a little bit about what it means to the community here? It really is a, a community get-together, kind of like a homecoming. This is a real community, and everybody works together. That's the exciting thing about it. A rich history and a tradition that means the world and more to Bayfield's residents. Really, Apple Festival to me is all about family and friends. The town comes together and works together to help pull it off. A community of 400 people doesn't do this by themselves. Beta Bodine says after six decades, Applefest has evolved into a yearly opportunity to show people all the best parts of Bayfield's community. It's a wonderful thing to watch a community pull together and do things as a unit. That legacy present throughout the town, but at Pier Plaza Restaurant, it carries some special memories alongside it. Sharon Johnson, part owner of the restaurant, says her husband's family has been there since 1937. What does Applefest come to mean to you? Well, <laughs> it's family. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my um, sister-in-law was the second queen, and we have a daughter that was queen. Um, our son was an uh, apple king. Each year, she looks forward to spending time with her family while bringing joy to those around her. These last few years, the festival has looked a little bit different. Um, our one son just passed away. He was our head chef. We've carried on and we look forward to doing it as long as we can. So we're very blessed. Johnson and the many other faces of Bayfield, each with their own memories that make 60 years of Applefest a time-honored tradition. I think here in Bayfield, we as a community really care for one another, not only living here, but working here and sharing here. I think that that's really just so beautiful. We'll be right back. Connect with us on Twitter at News8 News. You can always find us at news8000.com. Punishing inflation, retirement savings evaporating, home values crashing, and Mandela Barnes is oblivious. Barnes just supported a massive tax increase on middle class families and an army of IRS agents to go get every penny. Barnes also supported Biden's student loan forgiveness plan that cost every taxpayer $2,000. 2,000 less to survive on. Can you afford Mandela Barnes? Wisconsin Truth Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. Blaine's Farm and Fleet's big snacking and candy event is going on now. It's time to stock up and save on a massive selection of craveable chocolates, savory trail mixes, classic candies, and gummy go-tos, all on sale. Like one pound bags of Blaine's brand gummies, two for just four bucks. One pound bags of Blaine's Western trail mix, two for six bucks. New at Blaine's, 12 ounce Farm and Fleet select dark chocolate favorite two for seven bucks. Plus, this weekend only, don't miss free in-store samples of our sweet, salty, snackable selection. Look at that. What you're seeing is Olson Solar Energy working in the sun to make the sun work for you. What you can't see are the lower or no energy bills, selling extra energy back to your electric company, and the increase in property value without an increase in property taxes. The sun works for homes and businesses. The only thing you need is Olson Solar working in the sun to make the sun work for you. Now booking installations for 2023. Call Olson Solar Energy today. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know it needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard, some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, but we still can lift each other up. The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy providers are working together to help keep your heat and power on. 
You may not ask for it, but we want you to know we're here. No one expects to see me at their doorstep. But it's happening more because of Tony Evers. Evers released hundreds of violent criminals from prison. Some of the worst offenders in Wisconsin history. Some struck again. And others will. That's why we are with Tim Michaels. He'll keep dangerous criminals behind bars. Out of our homes and off our streets. As a veteran, Tim Michaels knows how to keep Wisconsin safe. We stand with Tim Michaels. All right, here's a look at your forecast for tomorrow. As we take a look at the graphics, we'll see that temperature at 8 a.m. right around, uh, let's see what I have, 43 degrees, 57 by the noon hour. There we go. Oh, there we go. 62 by the 2 o'clock <laughs> hour. Uh, and then we stay in the upper 50s, low 60s by the 6 o'clock hour, 53 by the 8 o'clock hour. I mean, so. I would have taken your word for it, but I really needed to see the I want to make sure I didn't accidentally put an 80 on there somewhere. <laughs> That'd be that's, scary. that's burned me a couple times. All right, well, have you really? Yes, I have actually. <laughs> I think the weather looks great for next week. Let's fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Fingers crossed. All right. Thank you so much for watching News 8. Now we hope to see you back here tomorrow night.